everyone, welcome to We Are Finn. And with me now from uh, Eviation, something very, very exciting. Something that's really got me excited today. Uh, Amir, welcome first of all to We Are Finn. Thank you very much for having us. You have an amazing aircraft here. It's an historic first electric aircraft, but it's a little bit more complicated than that, isn't it? Explain to me how it works. Okay, so yes, it is historic the way we see it. Uh, this is the Eviation Alice. It's the first all-electric commuter. It's a nine-seat, two-crew aircraft that can travel around 650 miles on a charge uh, and do so at 240 knots. So, if you will, the equivalent of your turboprop performance uh, on an all-electric. It's a battery aircraft, no hybrid, no nothing around that. And the uniqueness about it, besides the fact it looks great, is that this is going to be the cheapest direct operating cost aircraft ever built for this size category. We are at roughly $200 a flight hour. That's a fraction, that's roughly a fifth of the cost of the equivalently sized and equivalently performing uh, turboprop. And we believe this is not only the future of regional flight, we believe this is the future of regional transportation as a whole. What markets are we looking at for this, the Alice? We believe the Alice is going to approach the um, regional commute market in the very beginning. We do not envision this as a pilot-owned aircraft, but we do expect it to be very popular with pilots later on. Uh, it's a very, very advanced com uh, machine. It's a uh, fully fly-by-wire, all composite. Of course, it has a huge battery. Uh, three motors, as you can see them, two at the wingtip, one at the tail, creating uh, very unique redundancies. And we believe that we're going to see a major shift in regional commute to the likes of Alice, flying truly A to B and not from big hubs to other big hubs. And potentially afterwards, over time, when the prices really drop down because of the low direct operating cost, we'll probably see some shift from the usage of cars to anything that's over 100 miles away to, to the Alice. And where are we with this certification process? Uh, we've started our engagement with the FAA back in 2018. Uh, we are expecting our flight test phase of the uh, cert process to start late this year and let's say two, two and a half years from now we should be certified and uh, you should be able to buy a ticket. And uh, talking of buying tickets, what are, the, what are the customers? Who's going to be buying this? I believe anyone who wants to go anywhere that's more than 100 mile away than where he is today. Um, I think that in the very beginning, as I said, probably regional operators would be more, uh, let's say their transition is easier. Uh, but later on, if you want to visit your grandma or if you're going on a business trip and you have the option of either hopping in a car and you know driving for, or even an autonomous car, but just taking the two, three, four hour trip or you can go 25 to 30 minutes in an Alice and then Uber or taxi your way from the uh, near, small, relatively quiet airstrip that you don't really hate living uh, close to anymore because it's a very, very quiet plane being electric. Um, I think this would really change the way we travel. So anybody should really buy the ticket. And uh, who are the buyers going to be? Uh, you've got some announcements to make. Yes, I'm um, happy to say that the Cape Air, the world's largest general aviation operator uh, of, of commuter planes up in uh, Cape Cod and uh, the east coast of the US, uh, has committed to buying double digits of, uh, of this plane in the next five years. Uh, we are extremely excited with their commitment and with their, um, let's say, perception of operations. They are, as far as I'm concerned, the perfect client for us. Over a hundred planes in operation, the same size, they know their community, they know their clients, and most importantly, they have a huge fleet and a relatively small footprint. And as a new kind of emerging manufacturer, that means we don't have to spread too thin on logistics, MROs, and uh, spare parts and all of those. So our ability to support this as a successful launch, I believe, is, uh, is going to be right on and the enthusiasm from the managerial team and from the pilots at Cape Air was really amazing so we're super excited about this new client of ours. Thank you very much indeed. Now for the latest on the Alice as it goes through its certification progress and for the first of the fair paying customers you'll find that and all aviation aerospace news of course at wearefin.com.